All right, welcome back. Well, obviously, as we mentioned, this is a very, very important year, uh, time of year, uh, especially for those in need. Uh, there are a number of organizations that have undertaken a, 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 you know, a, a variety of initiatives to obviously make this time a more enjoyable, pleasant, and, uh, and uh, health, uh, beneficial time, if you will. Joining us now is John Newfeld of the House of Friendship. And you guys, uh, you guys started off with a, with a turkey and, and Christmas hamper program, mm -hmm. which uh, fortunately has gone very, very well, but it doesn't end there. You guys still have needs. Uh, and that's the matter of distribution. Um, so you're joining us here to, to tell us a bit more about that, as well as some of, kind of I guess, some of the, the, the unique and special stories that have, that have kind of been born out of this experience. Yeah. So I'll, I'll kind of leave the floor with you and, and take it away. Well, thanks for having me this morning. Um, the first thing is the we anticipated the increased demand this year mm -hmm. with the economy and everything, and that has happened. Last year we handed out close to 3,200 Christmas hampers. This year we were anticipating 3,400, but uh, it's going to look like we're going to get close to 3,600. So that's sort of been one story. The second piece is the uh, volunteers have just come out. It's just been fantastic. We have over 70 volunteers handing out turkeys. That just started yesterday at our two sites. And we've had over 500 volunteers in the warehouse putting the hamper program, wow. putting the hampers um, together. So. There's a couple of stories and there's some pictures there. So the first, uh, so there's the volunteers, uh, 500 of them, not all at <laughs> once, but uh, it is an assembly line and it is something else to uh, see in action. And so we have 500 people coming in and out, packing these hampers. And so the picture before that, that you saw was one of our staff. And so that's the great part of the Christmas hampers is it's, it's real community effort and it's our staff, it's um, businesses, it's community members. This is Lori, uh, one of our supervisors with her mom and sister, helping out hand out turkeys. Um, so it's been a real great effort, and there's been a lot of great partnerships that uh, I want to talk about. Um, and last Friday, Mayor Zare and uh, Halloran came in to help us kick things off, uh, packing the hampers, so that was great to have their support. The other uh, the other group that came out last Friday to help us out, and they're really the a strong partner in all this, and that's the Kitchener Conestoga Rotary Club. Uh, they've been huge for us, and they they raise last year they raised about 150 thousand, and they essentially that funds this whole drive uh, with the turkeys and everything. And this year they're aiming to do that, and their partnership has been really invaluable to us. And there you have another picture of a volunteer um, packing. Um, I'm betting some of these volunteers are there from the time you start packing those hampers mm -hmm. and stay on that assembly line all the way through. Yeah, and we've got another great picture on the screen here. This is Mr. Matsuo, who's uh, in his 70s, and he takes 14 hampers at a time oh. and does this delivery several times. And wow. I think there's blizzard all around him, and he couldn't be happier. <laughs> and I was going to say, he's a very happy-looking man. So it's, it's uh, individuals like this that really allow... Um, the Christmas hamper drive to happen. I've talked to some people who have, have been part of the deliveries and you know young and old get involved mm -hmm. and here's some kids from Rockway that are also be part of the program. Rockway's been, uh, Rockway's been very helpful this morning I was at the Mennonite Savings Credit Union mm -hmm. they did a big drive and purchased uh, a lot of hampers for us so it's just been uh, great to see and I don't know if there's going to be any more pictures, but there's um, also Gowlings has helped us out. There's a group of lawyers, uh, a networking group, that have also pitched in. There they are. These are the ladies from Gowlings. Um, and so that's sort of been the, the spirit and the story of the mm -hmm. Christmas hampers is how our community comes together, helps, um, helps out. And there's the sign at the front of our... Um, this is the warehouse. We do all this out of the NCR warehouse that's sort of Northfield and Weber in Waterloo, and we take over there. And well, I was just going to ask, actually, I mean, we, we, we've mentioned the word hamper several times. I was wondering if you give us uh, just a, kind of a general sense of what, uh, what constitutes a hamper. Great question. So it would be a, a box about this size and enough there for uh, several meals, and we try to... Rec um, fulfill the request of the individual applying for the hamper. So some people have dietary needs, so we try to respond as best as possible, but it's good, healthy, nutritious food. And there's also a turkey voucher in there that they can pick up so that everyone can have a good, uh, healthy turkey Christmas dinner. 
just like we'd all want to have. You know, I've, I've spoken to some people who have done the deliveries uh, for the hampers and that. And one of the things that strikes me, they come back with so much more than, you know, just the feeling good dropping off the hamper. You make a real connection with these people in a lot of ways. And, and their stories, when they come back, are often just as heartwarming as the act of them going out and delivering the hampers itself. Yeah, and one of the things that I think as a parent myself, I, I'm also always looking for ways of you know teaching my kids to give back and contribute. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share a story from yesterday. We had a young girl from Linwood that lives on a farm come in with her mom and um, a, a family friend. And she came and brought in her donation and she has a little on their farm, a little vegetable patch and whatever money she raises from selling um, anything from the garden she contributes and so there's things like that or I've walked into the Christmas hamper program and some folks will be there with their grandparents packing stuff so I think it's a, a great opportunity and I know right now our big push is for we have the hampers we have the food I think we're going to be okay it's just getting them out to people mm -hmm. and we're hoping to have everything delivered by next Monday and that's another great opportunity we have a lot of um, parents come with their kids and, and do the delivery together and so I think that can be a great experience um, for the kids involved. So we just, I was going to say, we just want to make a special point. The number up uh, right now is, is on screen for more information. Um, so if they're, if they're interested, they can give you a call? That's the direct line okay. to the warehouse. And so what that would look like is, is they would come to the warehouse. They would probably be given about six boxes. They would be given a delivery route with the, where they're going. The routes are really carefully planned out so that they're all in about the same geographic area. It's probably going to take you two hours, so you're not going to be going through all over KW. It'll be in an area, and uh, if you have so much fun and you get so motivated, we, we might even have you back and let you do another <laughs> route. So. Well, and I think for a lot of us this time of year, we realize just how fortunate we've mm -hmm. been. It has been a tough year for a yes. lot of people, mm -hmm. but for those of us who have made it through the year, and it's been a wonderful experience, it's a, a great opportunity to give back to people who haven't had such a great year and, and make it a wonderful end, if nothing else, to 2009 for them. So you can give them a call at the House of Friendship and find out more about the Christmas Hamper Program. Get out the van, get out the kids, make some deliveries and uh, do a great thing for them. Thanks so much for joining Thank us, you. John. Thank you for having me. Okay. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.